they are both good for oily skin but at the end of this video after my review about this sunscreen you will now decide which one you should get maybe based on my experience with the pros and cons i'll be giving out in this video i found peace in your violence can't tell me there's no point in hi guys hi beautiful people welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here my name is akune kamsi and i'm a content creator based in abuja in today's video i'll be comparing and reviewing two beautiful sunscreen which are dear to my heart this sunscreen is good if you are acne prone or you have an oily skin so this sunscreen is the skin aqua uv super moisture gel sunscreen in gold and the sun cut uv perfect gel super waterproof sunscreen so these are the sunscreens i will be comparing today however i've done a video like this on my channel which i review the skin aqua sunscreen and the nivea sunscreen on my channel however there is a new formulation of the skin aqua sunscreen so i've gotten complaints like oh this sunscreen is so greasy it's so oily which yes i have tried i tried a friend sunscreen which was the formulated one actually the one i reviewed in that video which i'll put a link i'll put the link of that video somewhere the the sunscreen i reviewed that's the skin aqua i reviewed in that video was the old sunscreen like was the unformulated one but currently skin aqua has formulated their sunscreen so i have gotten a lot of complaints from people dming me living in the comment section that oh skin aqua is quite greasy however nivea has not reformulated their sunscreen so everything i said in that video about nivea still stands use the friend skin aqua the formulated skin aqua sunscreen and i can say yes com compared to my own sunscreen yes that sunscreen is quite greasy so that's why i decided to do another video and bring out options again for people who are oily skin and acne prone skin so skin aqua has this is skin aqua too the same company that made the previous one that one is white and blue why this one is gold so we're going to be comparing this these two sunscreen in this video so at the end of this video i'll be telling you my cons my pro and also sharing my experience why using this sunscreen so from this video now you'll be able to select or choose which of the sunscreen you should get they are both good for oily skin but at the end of this video after my review about this sunscreen you will now decide which one you should get maybe based on my experience with the pros and cons i'll be giving out in this video if that's what you're looking for in this video please don't forget to give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and let's get right into the video so let's talk about the overview of this sunscreen this sunscreen are both japanese sunscreen they are both chemical sunscreens and they are both in gold <laughs> they both their packaging is gold yes they are both in gold containers and their, their packaging is gold they both contain spf 50 plus pa plus 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 that's both of them contain pa four pluses so both these sun cut and the skin aqua are both high in their uv protection so they are both the same thing in uv protection so no one is lower than the other they are both the same thing however this sun cut was i think the packaging was reformulated because this is my old sun cut and if you notice this is how you open it and see it see how the the nozzle is this is the old one this is my previous sun cut sunscreen they repackage or they reformulated the packaging not the product because i use this one on this side of my face and i use this one side of my face they were the same thing so i don't think sun cut has reformulated their sunscreen but they have changed the packaging of their sunscreen if you're using if you've used sun cut before and this is the old one you will be familiar with this packaging but now they've 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 changed their packaging so this is how it comes so you have to open it like this so this is how sun cut currently is this is the new packaging of sun cut then for the skin aqua it comes in this 
nozzle still this um dropper nozzle thingy which your products will just you can take out your products the sun cut it comes in this particular kind of nozzle i don't know if you can see but this is how you take out your product too so let's look at size for the size of this sun cut um you get a hundred gram worth of product from this sunscreen so this sunscreen can last for two to three weeks even a month depending on how you use your sunscreen in as much as you should be applying your sunscreen every two hours so you should at least use sunscreen three to four times in a day ideally this should last for two to three weeks even with the consistent reapplication of your sunscreen this will give you a decent amount of product however this skin aqua you get a 110 gram worth of product from this sunscreen so this sunscreen is bigger than the sun cut with 10 grams even with the reapplication and everything this should last for you two to three weeks one month yes even with the constant reapplication skin aqua is going to last skin aqua gold is going to last for you to, for, for like two to three four weeks that's a month for the price depending on where you get your sunscreen for this sunscreen retails between seven thousand to ten thousand so depending on where you get it from however i recently got i recently restocked this one and i got it for seven five in naira naira why this one has been it's it's been long i think it was beginning of this year so i got it for i got this one for seven five beginning of this year but the way dollar is right now i don't think this would be seven five this would be like maybe around nine thousand but this i recently got this seven five i've seen somewhere i've seen seven eight i've seen eight thousand so that's why i said depending on where you get your sunscreen from it retails between seven thousand to ten thousand for consistency is white in color you can see it's white in color it's it's white in color it's a bit runny but not watery it is lightweight very very lightweight it has it has an alcohol scent to it and it's very strong like you get this very strong alcohol when applying this sunscreen and it's very lightweight very very lightweight very very lightweight very lightweight for the sun cut or the cosset sunscreen this is gel like in consistency it is i don't know if you can see it's gel like it's not white it's it's creamy gel like that's how it is it is lightweight it is very very lightweight it contains a fragrance but not then it's not alcohol but it contains a a fragrance yes it has a a mild fragrance it's not very powering like that it's very very mild but it has a fragrance to it it's lightweight it is gel like i can't say what this fragrance smells like shall but it has a very mild calming fragrance to it and it is gel like and it is lightweight very very lightweight so for applications you know how we do for sunscreen in this channel i'm going to be applying the sun cuts on this side of my face and we're going to be applying the skin aqua gold on this side of my face so let's do it so we're going to start with the skin aqua on the left side of my face so you already know the two finger rule the two finger rule while applying your sunscreen so that's what we're going to be using for this sunscreen and don't forget to apply your sunscreen on your your don't forget to apply your sunscreen on your face your eyes your your ear your neck and your mouth too but because i have lip gloss on my mouth i won't be applying this sunscreen on my mouth oh i just want to be sure that i'm applying this half side of my face okay yeah i'm applying half of my face 
I just want to be sure. I'm looking at a mirror here. <laughs> Let me be sure it's on the half side of my face. Yeah. Okay, just, oh my god. Don't do this. It doesn't interrupt with the whole thing. So while this one is drying down, we're going to apply Kose UV Sun Cut on this side of my face. So yeah. So the same thing, two finger rules. Oh my God. So we're going to do the two finger rules. Don't know if you can see that. The skin aqua, they are both lightweight, but the skin aqua is creamy and um corset is gel like okay the skin aqua is a little bit runny compared to the corset yeah that's what i wanted to say sorry the skin aqua is a little bit runny compared to the corset so don't forget your neck your ear yeah So we'll just allow this sunscreen, this this the sun cuts to dry down and then we'll come back. Yeah, we are back and see. So this is the Kose and this is the skin aqua in gold. So now there is something I notice about the skin aqua. Skin aqua just absorbs and you don't feel you don't feel it on your skin. Like it just sinks in and you don't feel anything on your skin. Why the Kose sinks in and then it still has this ticky. I don't know if you if you touch if you touch it, it's as if there is still something on your skin. It feels like sticky on your hand, but with time it goes matte for the Kose. Yeah, it's now I can still feel the sticky nature, but maybe before the end of this video now. The, my face will now be even more matte than the, the skin aqua. I don't know if it makes sense. Initially, it looks as if something is on your skin. But subsequently, it will just go matte than the skin aqua with time. That's what you should keep in mind when getting the sunscreen. Let's talk about my experience. Both sunscreen doesn't sting my eye. You, also saw, me, you saw me applying the sunscreen on my eye. If it stings my eye, I'll be jumping by now. So they don't sting the eye. They don't leave any white cast, as you can see already. No white cast whatsoever. So they don't leave white cast. They don't sting the eyes. They are both lightweight. However, the skin aqua absorb faster than the kose. From my own experience, the skin aqua absorb faster than the kose. But they both absorb. If you're comparing both of them, the skin aqua absorb faster into the skin than the kose application both of them feels cooling to the skin it feels they feel very cooling to the skin on a, on application they both melt into the skin but the skin aqua melt faster compared to the kose they are both water and sweat resistant meaning even though you sweat even though you enter into the pool water or your sweat can take away the sunscreen so you still have the sunscreen on even when you enter into the pool and even when you sweat so they are both water and sweat resistant they both absorb and melt into the skin however the skin aqua absorb faster than the the kose like i said now you see now it is matte 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 i don't know like the kose is matte why the skin aqua is like a skin finish so but initially when you apply it to give you this um it has this sticky gummy feeling on your skin. I don't know if I'm describing these things well. It has this sticky gummy feeling on your skin. But subsequently, it goes matte. Why this the skin aqua absorb into your skin and just give you a skin-like finish? But the Kose gives you a matte finish. For makeup, they both sit well under the makeup. But however, I love using Kose when I want to apply my makeup. So I use this under my makeup a lot but this i use this 
normally they are both good though. i can use both of them but i enjoy using this one under my makeup compared to the skin aqua like i said before this one has a fragrance i don't know what it smells like but i just know that the fragrance is not so powering it's not out there it's a very calm fragrance why this one has an alcohol a very strong alcohol scent you're going to perceive it why using the sunscreen so if you don't like alcohols on your sunscreen i think you should just leave this one and go for this one if you don't like fragrance in your sunscreen this one has fragrance this one has the kose has a mild fragrance to it why the skin aqua has an alcohol scent to it so one of the things i really did not enjoy i dislike about the kose is the fact that this sunscreen peels so and when it peels is when the application so if you're reapplying the sunscreen subsequently let's say i now that i've applied the sunscreen now if i rub again and i rub again and i rub again it will start peeling this is one of the things i don't like about the sunscreen it peels so you enjoy the sunscreen if you just want to rub it maybe you now have another sunscreen for reapplication but if you're going to be reapplying this sunscreen just take note that this sunscreen peels that's the one of the cons about this this kose sun cut sunscreen it peels however the skin aqua doesn't peel so it's very good for reapplication so you can buy this and reapply it and reapply it it will not peel it will still be the same why the sun cut peels so just to put it out there the sun cut peels on reapplication so let's rate this sunscreen you know i really love this sunscreen i love both of them i love them a whole lot for me to even repurchase this sunscreen you know that i really really love them however for the skin aqua i'll be giving it a solid 10 over 10. that's for my this is for my experience i'm going to be giving it a solid 10 over 10 because it doesn't sting the eyes it doesn't leave a white cast gives you skin like finish is more heavy absorb fast everything you, a good sunscreen should have overall this has it and i'll give it a solid 10 over 10. however if you don't like the alcohol in this sunscreen you might not enjoy though if you don't like alcohol in your sunscreen then you should avoid this sunscreen then for the sun cuts i'll be giving this a 9 over 10 just because it peels on reapplication i love reapplying my sunscreen like why am i buying this sunscreen if i'm not going to reapply every two hours i'm just wasting my time because ideally you should be reapplying your sunscreen but for reapplication this sunscreen peels like it peels when you reapply it but one of the good things i like about this is how it sits very beautiful under makeup i really really like that about this sunscreen subsequent reapplication this sunscreen peels so in conclusion so this sunscreen are both they are very good sunscreen like very very good sunscreen so just in case you love this sun cut and you don't see it in the market you can opt for the skin aqua in gold and let's say you love the skin aqua and you don't see it in the market you can opt for the sun cut they are both beautiful sunscreen they are very wonderful sunscreen they can substitute for each other and they are very very good for people who, who are acne prone and people who have oily skin this sunscreen is very very good for those so you just have to decide which of this sunscreen you're going to get from my experience so yeah if you found this video very helpful please don't forget to give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe don't forget to hit the notification bell to know when next i post my next video and if you have any question concerning this sunscreen i just reviewed in this video please don't forget to leave it down in the comment section if you have any contribution whatsoever maybe i didn't state it in this video please don't forget to leave it down in the comment section and you know what you know i'll be always in the comment section to answer your questions to answer your suggestion so yes bye guys and i'll see you in my next one bye <laughs> Room 2110, I knocked on the door at the penthouse suite, cause I needed more from you.